Hello everybody, how are you going? And welcome back to Bloom's How to Defend 6, where I'm interested to find out how far can a Glaive Dominus get on its own? And so obviously there will be a bit of a building up time where I can use whatever and just go ham on banana farms. In saying that though, I do want to be careful with how I place these, because if I was to come down here, would that be better than over here? I'm not too sure. Even though Sorta would be lovely to have down here, I think by the time that I have the Glaive Lord even in that little bit, it should be better. So you know what? Sorta. Sorta can also come down and hang out here while I just try and find the right spot for this boomerang monkey. But right now, I don't need it. I just need to be getting banana farms. To be honest, even though I have gone ahead and got top paths so far, I'm almost thinking that I might just mix it up and get a whole variety of banana farms and see which one works for me because I did like the idea of the bottom path. I don't think I've ever really dabbled in that either. Regardless though, for now everything is going very very nicely and I guess I probably do want to help out the sorter a little bit by getting uh, bottom and top path glaives yes that will do just fine even to some red hot ranks so I can make sure that I can take out leads when they eventually come around and that at least then covers me for camo and lead and everything else in between but still everything is so far so good I haven't even been scared into taking it off auto start yet I am just saving up my monkey banks just to try something else and just seeing also how the bottom path performs but as we approach around 40 I am wondering what do I want to be getting next I could get a druid I could get an alchemist there are plenty of things that are pretty usual. Perhaps even just a monkey buccaneer up the front here would make sense. So you know what? I will do that. And yeah, crow's nest, all the good stuff. Oh, and even if I could just try and get monkey pirates by the next round, I mean, maybe if I could get it by the banks, could I get it by the banks? Yes, uh, collect. Yeah, let me just collect that and also just get monkey pirates. Sadly, I did not make it, but I could definitely afford for the mob to go most of the way through this track and then still pick it up. I'm a little bit disappointed because that didn't seem to collect immediately, which I thought was the whole point of getting the bottom one. Banks auto collect when full. Hmm. Okay then. See, why is that not auto collecting? I want you to collect. I want you to collect. I don't understand. Surely that's the entire thing, or at least that's what it says. It says that it auto collects, not you. Uncollected bananas auto collect for almost their full amount and banks auto collect when full. Meanwhile, they're just not. And so I'm a bit confused about banana salvage and why it doesn't seem to be working as it's saying it's meant to be. But there you go, 7,000. I'll just have to keep on top of it then. There you go, 7,000 at least. I'll just collect all and then everyone's on the same path. But wow, 57,000. Alrighty then. It <laughs> was a little bit, uh, well, I guess I was sitting on a gold mine. So I've finally just taken it off auto start just to try and imagine where do I want to go from here? Because like I said, I've got plenty of boomerang monkeys just to be setting down and it's only around 52, but I have 60 grand in the bank or I guess out of the bank, so to say. I could get a central market, but I'm almost wondering if I want to go and just put a banana central or a monkey wall street i guess that's the same one or even just going all the way to a monkey village and getting a monkey nopolis that would be lovely as well i guess there also isn't too much point in spending massive amounts of money on pirate lords and things like that because if i am going to be selling them to see how far only a glaive dominus can go then it's going to be a bit of a waste i'd be better off just starting to upgrade all these guys I mean, maybe a little bit more camera detection, or I guess, how am I going to be managing camera detection later on? Either way, I guess just bottom path, top path, middle path is what it's going to be. There we go. I guess everyone can just go Glaive Lord for you. Perma charge in literally a second for you. There we go. That is now two of three already, which is just ridiculous. I don't know who I want to be pairing with turbo charge. I think it's probably uh, Glaives or Red Hot Rangs. Mm. I'll just go Glaives. Why not? That'll be fine. And then I guess now we just sit back and wait for us more money to appear. But there we go. At least I I now do have every single guy that I will need or the minimum requirements so to say for Glaive Dominus and now it's just time to be stacking it out and then just selling everything and seeing how we go like I said I will be able to keep non DPS towers like banana farms up until the last second or even uh, honestly after that as well but it's just the other guys and want to see how far can only a paragon like that go so I guess the only thing that I should be worrying about now is obtaining the maximum possible degree for this paragon I think it from reading about it just then it required about 46 different boomerangs which will take quite a bit and also 250 grand the money aspect shouldn't be too much i just have these guys all turning away but it's also 16 million pops combined which is a lot a lot for sure which the hardest part is probably just going to be surviving that long to where it can accumulate that much and so i guess i should be looking as well as getting plenty of boomerang monkeys what else do i want to be getting to obtain that perhaps i think maybe uh, yeah i think i have a few things in mind even though it will cost quite a bit of money, I'm thinking a Spectre, as well as just making sure that Jungle Drums, Grove Locker, Radar Scanner, everyone can see everything, maybe even an MIB, just start spending the money so it's not completely running out. Look, that's another 56 I just collected. I may get Pirate Lord just to make sure that it can happen and people can do all the damage necessary. And then now that I have those two guys on the screen, I know I'm covered for many, many, many rounds. At least now I can just go back to focusing on, I believe it is Turbo Charge or Bionic Boomerang. The screen is honestly about to become so messy 
messy and I should have been counting how many I've done here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 26, 27. Oh my goodness, this is way too many. My goodness, that is absolutely ridiculous and that will take quite a while even just to upgrade. Even if I had all the money, it would take quite a while. But let's just make sure that I collect everything so I don't just have money just going out the wazoo for no reason. And I still don't understand why the bottom part, the one marketplace, isn't doing its described job. But regardless, at least I have $160,000 to spend on whatever I want. I could get a flying fortress just to make sure it's only 60,000, but I think for now I might just start upgrading boomerangs. Oh no, I was accidentally just clicking and upgrading and I accidentally clicked on Sorter and gave her, I guess, two or three levels at, oh my goodness, $20,000 each. That is utterly insanity. Well, I guess it's just gonna delay the inevitable. Oh, well actually it is around 100 already, so let's just see how this guy goes. I guess I've got plenty if I need to be using some turbo charges just to be making very short work with that entire guy. The poor fella did not realize what he was walking into and I could have definitely made it even worse for him. I could have, I mean, call to arms and everything like that. I don't even have a flying fortress on the board. Regardless, now that is a bundle of them done, I just have to be making sure that I guess, oh, I don't know, how do you know what the total pop count is? Or is it only boomerang monkeys? Or is it everyone for the 16 million? This is ridiculous. I mean, yes, I'm making money almost as fast as I can spend it, for goodness sake. Let's just see, is it already? No, it is not back up to 56,000, but it is darn close to being done. I could probably basically afford it right now. I then just have to save up for $276,250. A very, very random number, if I say so myself regardless i'm already back up to 13,000, so let's just continue and get this last four guys before i forget you are in there as well there we go there is now i think it's only one to go well there we go they haven't exactly loaded yet but they are loading in now look at that 46 bionic boomerang turbochargers are up i could also afford to basically get a flying fortress in mere seconds here just to make sure that i can get this pop can up and i'm still wondering is it only the boomerang monkeys or is it everyone that needs 16 million pops because if it's everyone it won't be too bad but the monkey ace and the pirate lord will definitely make it more difficult because i need them to be taking things out but then if they're taking everything away from everything else then i'm not too sure how you actually do that i mean round 19 will be nice in terms of pop count but there is still plenty of damage on the screen once I just upgrade everyone. So I guess that then does delay it even further and so in saying that how am I going to be making sure that I can survive enough rounds to be getting that many pop counts? I mean maybe some ice and freezing and things like that would be in order I think. Yes like everything else it will be taking a bit of money away from the total paragon cost but honestly I just need to be waiting for the pop count more than anything else. Oh well around 140 hey let me just use a few abilities to make sure that this guy doesn't get too darn far. There are plenty of glaives on the screen, but I think there is also enough damage being done to where it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I went ahead and put a couple more villagers down so people can also see everything they need to be seeing, like the DDTs and whatnot. Let me just also make sure that no one goes too far. To be honest, I think I'm coming back to the problem that I was talking about before in terms of how will I possibly know when I have 16 million pops? I mean, I guess I could do my best estimate as some boomerang monkeys seem to have about 100,000. The main three have at least a million, four million, two million, so that's a decent chance chunk and then everyone else combined I mean but some of them only have 4,000 and 8,000 so it's really quite difficult to know I would like to know if there's a decent round oh maybe double what they've got now it would be a decent estimate but there's really no way to know to be honest I think at this rate given the fact that everyone is getting a bit of love there are a few balloons making it a bit further I think by the time that I can save up 276,000 it will be all right it's about a hundred thousand away which is a few rounds because by the time I get 56 times two it will be sweet and then by then I should just be able to go for it the middle guy should have plenty plenty more pop counts I mean even for goodness sake the bottom path boomerang monkey now has four million pop counts which is a lot it's a quarter of what I need just there. My goodness, though, you truly can see how good the Flying Fortress is. Look at that. The Monkey Ace compared to the Monkey Buccaneer has 16 million compared to 2.2. And it's honestly insane. Let me just make sure that no one kills me right this second. But for the basically the same tower, just more expensive, you're getting way more value for money. Jeez, these guys have so much health though. It is honestly insane how much health these guys have. These are unfortified, but around 151 and they're still getting that far. I mean, it's, is it even halfway through? I guess it's closer to halfway through, but not truly yet. So there is a long way before I completely die, but the speed at which the DDTs move, they can cover that ground very, very quickly. I don't even want to know what happens if I use all 42 of them. My goodness, that, I, I wouldn't even want to try and calculate how many glaives are possibly on the screen. Every single bit, underneath them is glaive it's 
there's probably, I don't know, 100,000 glaives on the screen. But there we go, 220,000. That means that should be, especially by the time I actually can save up for that, within 50,000 and one more collection in range. Look at that, those guys are going so far though. They're so fast. I was a little bit caught off guard by that, but as soon as I use the abilities, at least all of those boomerang monkeys can clean it up. And so I'm certainly hoping that the Paragon is worth it because to be honest, these guys are doing a pretty decent job of cleaning everything up, considering there just isn't that much range, which is a little bit scary in terms of the amount of towers that I have on the screen. But with that many glaives, I guess not many things can get through, balloon or elsewhere. Oh, I've just realized, and I just want to take it off water side because I'm about to finish this round, that if I was to get a village, a top path village, that would do so much more damage, just primary mentoring and primary expertise for the middle there, eventually, oh, that would definitely be the way to go, man. Okay, well, that is something that I will also have to factor in. I should have enough money once I sell everything, like I was just saying, to be able to buy whatever I want after that. But I just need these banana farms. It feels like they're so slow because the rounds are so long. I have 20,000, I need 40,000. So if I was to sell, I guess if I was to get all of that and then sell the ice tower and... I guess I could sell one village because there's no way that all the village will be needed. I would have enough at around 160 should I do it. You know what? I might just. So I'll collect all of you. Yes, that's like 254,000. Sadly, I will sell you. You have been wonderful. But then I will get rid of... Oh, yeah, I will get rid of this guy, I guess. And look at that, 282,000. That is enough to finally go ahead and get Glaive Dominus. And I guess it comes down to who do I want to be upgrading? I feel as though it's only fitting to give the most pop count the most power. To be fair, that guy is also the most central. And so you know what? It is definitely time. Glaive Dominus. This action will create a Paragon Boomerang Monkey. All other Boomerang Monkeys will be destroyed in the process, feeding the Paragon's power. You guys have been great. Thank you for stalling me up to 160, but it it is time. Do it. There we go. That is insane. What is it going to be? 76. Yes. That is what I wanted. That is what everything told me it should be, but at least it actually is. And my goodness, look at those surrounding and orbiting glaives. Well then, I guess I have the Paragon, so there is only one way to find out how good it is. I guess I should also... Oh, I don't actually believe that radar scanner works, but I'll just get it in case. There we go. Primary mentoring. I cannot get primary expertise. I still have six grand and a, let's just see, around 160. There will be plenty still happening on the screen because of the flying fortress, but as soon as these balloons come down, um, they are very quickly being taken out. Well then, yes. Oh, uh, yes. Okay. Well, it continued from before, but it's already at 5.6 million. Well then, that was very, very, very fast of a round. I guess I could even time it because I have the clock track timer right there, but it didn't feel difficult at all. So I don't know if it was just that round or maybe that's how powerful it is. Let's just see. How fast can that guy get taken out? Um, I think very is the answer to that. Oh, and it can also push them back. Oh, that is an awesome, awesome mobility. Well, I guess, do I dare start to be destroying my other towers? I think maybe the Mortar Monkey can go. The Sniper, I do like you. Maybe Sorta, I do. You only have a million pops, even though you are level 20, you'd be lovely. Permanent Brew, that would also be lovely to get. To be honest, I do feel a little bit bad selling these guys. They have carried me all the way through. Look at that Monkey Ace with 24 million pop counts. So to just get rid of him, it feels a little bit rude. But there we go. I finally saved up enough money to be able to get primary expertise. And honestly, I don't even know if it can really buff it. I mean, it's still a boomerang monkey, but is it? I guess is the main question I still have there. Regardless, I guess there is no harm in having it. The only problem is that it does do a little bit of damage. And so do I dare? I just don't know. Do I want to be selling everything? Ah, oh, it's kind of the point because I want to see how powerful this tower truly is. I want to see how powerful the Paragon is. So here we go. I will sell the Monkey Buccaneer, sadly. I don't know what else I will be spending my money on. The Sniper Monkey can also go, even though it's going to be helping out so much. Sorta, you will go next. Uh, is there anyone else I can be doing to overclock? I mean, I guess I don't think the Paragon can take anything like that. To be fair though, I can clearly see that the Paragon isn't really being affected by anything like this, so I might as well sell them, I guess. Even everything that comes out, they are so fast, but it still manages to catch it. And I guess at this rate, I can collect all, but I'm not gonna be buying anything else. So let's just make it a nice, clean screen. Look at that, three guys right there. How far can they get? Around 175 currently. 
It looks like I haven't done anything, but there's a pesky Paragon, level 76 Paragon, hiding in under all of those guys. Honestly though, looking at this, it may very well be the end of me. Oh yes, it was. Wow. So it truly wasn't that much longer, and maybe it was even the banana farms that were holding me above water, but a 555 monkey star, of course it was, finishing with $341,000 and one pesky paragon in the middle doing its darndest, but I would almost venture to say that it wasn't worth it. I mean, yes, if you're going to be having it in combination with everything else, and it's just another very compact form of massive DPS, but otherwise, by itself, it cannot solo around 174 which to be fair is pretty fair.